Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Canis and I like boats. With summer behind us, it's September, and Rob Cable and Tice the Carpenter have put together a plan to get the mast replaced. Tice is going to hand carve the mast from Douglas fir, the cheapest suitable wood available. The original mast was hand carved by Rob 30 years ago from Russian larch, but to use Russian larch again would be way too expensive. So Tice spent August looking for the right piece of timber. The wood for the mast is over 16 meters in length and will cost a lot to have it delivered by road because it would be an extra long load. Thankfully, Tice and Rob organized the wood to be milled at a sawmill Tice works with, the Rat in Ilst, just outside Snake. It can be accessed by canal and we can take to Vrau Linda. So the plan is simple, go and collect the wood and bring it back. Here's the genius of their plan. I can give them the old mast and they will chop it up into floorboards. Rob decided to come and help me, and off we went. We tied the old mast to the side of the boat in the water, and we towed it along. The journey will take four hours by canal to get to Ilst. The same journey would be 20 minutes by car. On the way, every road bridge had to be raised, and most of them were controlled by a bridge keeper, either at the side of the bridge or by camera. I suspect one bridge keeper controls more than one bridge. So if they see you coming, they open the bridge or wave at the camera to alert them to your presence. If you cruise in the Netherlands, the bridges and locks only operate between certain hours, depending on the season. So that's no cruising at night. This railway bridge closes well in advance for the train to arrive to ensure safe passage of the train. So you have to wait a long time. Naturally, the train has priority. We arrived at the Rat the windmill was originally built in 1711 and was located in Sandstrek, just outside Amsterdam. In 1828, it was sold and moved across the Zuider Zee to Ilst. When it was built first, it replaced the work of 25 men. Primarily a sawmill, it also was adapted to mill corn. In the latter half of the 19th century, the rat was famous for the quality of their wood. In 1918, it was installed with a 30 horsepower electric motor, and by 1920, the sails were removed. But by 1955, the owners had asked permission to demolish the mill. The town examined the proposal, discovered that the building was in reasonable condition, and it could be saved. So in 1956, the following year, the town bought the mill, and finally it opened fully restored in 1978. It had major overhauls in 1987, 1996 and 2005. It is a national monument but more importantly a working sawmill and it is here my new mast was milled and more importantly my old mast will be milled into floorboards. We left the old mast with the team at the Rat and tied up the two floating pieces of timber. The big one is the mast and the small one is a boom. Tice is carving for another client and to save him the bother, we'll take it back to Malcolm for him. On the way back, these huge vintage sailing barges passed us, twice the size of De Brau Linda, and yet they gracefully and silently whispered past on the power of a light breeze. I think people generally like old boats. We arrived back in Markham safe and sound, and with the new mast ready for Tice to do his magic. A month later in October I got a call to say the floorboards were ready, and I made my trip again to the Rat, but this time on my own. 
The team of the rat were amazing and helped me stack the boards onto the brow Linda. If you're ever in the area, come and visit this beautiful windmill. There is a cafe and museum beside the site, and the staff are only too delighted to show you around. As an historic monument, they're maintained by government grant, a small entrance fee, and they still make money charging for their services as a professional sawmill. To have De Vrouw Linda's mass start life here is a wonderful continuity. A 110-year-old boat and a 309-year-old windmill. Oh, it's really working now. Have you understood how this uh, works? The staff encouraged me to make these clips. I wish I'd recorded more video, but hey, when the lockdown ends and travel resumes, I'll go back and do a proper video. This is the one that cut the timber. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more to come.